right, Mush. I'm going to save your Vera, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker Diaz, the Bugelmeister? He's got your boy Lugs. Word is you might try to jump him. Didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he take him? Ah! ah all right, all in right, plain mate. English. Keep your party on. They caught him across town the junkyard. Bloody hell, you nutter! to work like a Girl Scout or a clown with dietary concerns? No thanks, Vladimir. I agree with that. People from other countries are good for nothing. That's why we have to keep teaching them a lesson. I'll tell you what makes a real man. A truck to pull stuff and a couch to think on. I'll tell you. my careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do, mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure. I guess. Nice to see you, too. Let's get out of here. radio and our community. We hope you're enjoying pressing issues and the way it challenges your view of society. Unfortunately, public radio in Vice City is under pressure. That's because we're better than everyone. You can't hear this kind of hard-hitting, long, drawn-out programming.
Alaska and meet me on the bridge at Star Island, okay? Okay, I got you. Papi, this man's for me. You! You the boy? Oh yeah! You the boy! I think so, you know! No, I don't think I do. Oh yeah? You come here, tough guy! You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, Papi! Look at him! All dressed up like that! What is this? Ladies night? You some kind of tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women! I like all women! I love my mother, Chico! Alright, alright, I'll take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah. Like a woman. <laughs> Very funny! I like you, big boy! Maybe you can help! Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat! Show me you got some big cojones! And not some little very chiquita ones! Hey, I'm Rico! You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Versetti, let's go. Okay, man! Treat her like a woman! Old people listening, go back to your homes. Florida does not want you. Please, die somewhere else. What's wrong with Nevada or Kansas? We want a river. We need... Amigo, you're a man, man! What about the other crimes? It seems scar crime, fashion crime, drugs, and... Absolutely. Of course it is. When I was in Uganda, people were poor, but they were happy. The more you have, the less you have. And that's kind of what I'm all about. There's satisfaction in spending all day weaving a basket, rather than just buying one at the store. At one point in Uganda, I saw a great lake of sand and a massive speaking dog. It was a dog of love, not of hate. It was a... Call yourself a man, man? What are you talking about? I'm talking about hopes, dreams, the magic of television, especially public television. Puppets can say what men cannot. Yes, but how will that stop people taking baseball... Mother's PTA group meeting recently. Baseball is our national sport, our national pastime. Joining together as men in order to reward the act of running around in a circle. I will thank you not to take its name in vain, Chavez. I hate that spring training. Who do those guys think they are? Coming here and getting in the way, showing us no respect, drinking our orange juice and seducing our women folk. Training your own home, mister. Our national game down here, my friend, is digging. Digging a big ditch. 
ditch of hope, which will flood into a river of freedom. You're a little scaredy kitten, baby boy. Go find your mommy. When we are floating away in the Caribbean Sea, free to run things our way, singing Kumbaya in the sunshine, no school, no tax, free barbecue and pinball for everyone. Sophisticated entertainment. Yes, well, what about the little guy? What about the guy who is standing there saying, I like being part of America. I like it a lot. I get public radio. I can hear Maurice Chavez. I own a small one-bedroom home. A business selling flowers to people stuck in traffic. Not bad. You're a real bank. I'm to BCPR. A dog. Fifteen ice cubes. But I don't feel safe. I'm worried about gangs. Gangs are a myth put out by the liberal elite to patronize and demean the working man. I mean, what kind of right-minded youth from a poorer background is going to spend his time stealing things and posing in silly clothes when he could be getting ahead with a minimum wage job and making his parent proud? The dream of America is to live in a duplex and share a yard. Why would anyone want to threaten that great future? Answer me that and I'll show you a green dog. And speaking for the underdog, the foundation I set up with my trust fund, we believe gangs are a valid expression of a people's identity, a grouping. Man, you the man, man! I like you, man! I like you a lot! Anytime, man, cause you got cojones, and all my friends, they got big cojones! Our names on the walls of the mall to ward off predators. And that's supposed to terrify people? No, no. We believe passionately in non-violent solutions to life's problems. Gangs have to learn to love, to be inclusionary. We'd award badges to good gangs and give bad gangs a silly hat to wear. It would give people something to feel a part of. Kill them. You got big cojones, amigo. you my dear thought you might need something to make you feel better so auntie pulley make you some stew eh? come and check me kitchen sometime okay tommy Got us some cannons in the trunk. Holy shit, where'd you get all this stuff? Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. This place is gonna be crawling with assholes. Be careful. Don't worry, Tommy. I'll cover you.
Diaz must be inside. You having fun yet? Hey Tommy, can our room have a fuel today? I've come to take over your business! Tommy, you betrayed me, you idiot! I'm gonna kill you real soon! <laughs> Eat this, you murdering bastard! You stupid pricks! My beautiful house! Look what you done to it! This is for my brother! Oh, I trusted you, Tommy! <coughs> I would have had you made! Say goodnight, Mr. Diaz! Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. 
Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the- You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory. And let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle. Or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead. And they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. What are you doing? by the Society for a Cleaner America. It uses a patented formula developed by the Pentagon for use in the field. Now it's available for your home. Some germs hate acid, some germs hate bleach. Lock skills indiscriminately. What's this I found under your bed? The only angles you're going to read is Laura Engels Wild. If you think your child might be a red, here are some warning signs. They read complicated literature and have concerns for their fellow man. They even like to share. Tell your kids if someone approaches them with pamphlets about recycling, an invitation to a labor rally, or showing any doubts about the fairness of our system, then they should find a teacher or a policeman immediately. Persetti, remember the name. Has anyone seen my attaché? Avery, what's eating you? There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. You catch my drift? I reckon so. All I'm saying is to keep your eyes open and you might find the perfect business opportunity. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. No. 
Stop right now! 